getting revenge for a crushing defeat last season, the Alabama Crimson Tide beat the Clemson Tigers in the Sugar Bowl, 24-6, on Monday night to set up an all-Southeastern Conference National Championship game against the Georgia Bulldogs on January 8 in Atlanta. No. 4 Alabama wrote a familiar formula of defense and efficiency to its sixth championship game appearance in coach Nick Saban's 11 years with the team. Saban has won five national championships as a head coach, one shy of Bear Bryant's record. At the Superdome in New Orleans, Alabama jumped out to a quick lead. The Crimson Tide scored on a 12-yard touchdown pass from Jalen Hurts to Calvin Ridley after Hurts escaped trouble in the backfield and initially looked as if he might try to run it. When the first quarter ended, Alabama led, 10-0, and also had 102 total yards, while Clemson had minus 7. But the top-ranked Tigers managed to put together a small rally. Alex Spence connected on a 44-yard field goal that cut the Crimson Tide's lead to 10-3 with 10 minutes left in the first half. In the third quarter, Hertz fumbled when he tried to pull the ball back after he had started to hand off to Damian Harris. Clemson linebacker Kendall Joseph recovered on the Alabama 20-yard line and Spence added a field goal to make it 10-6. But the Crimson Tide dealt the Tigers a decisive blow with two quick scores late in the third quarter. Deron Payne, a 308-pound defensive tackle, picked off a wobbly pass and returned it 21 yards, and drew a 15-yard personal foul penalty when Tremaine Angkrum yanked him down with a horse collar. After Alabama drove to a first down at the Clemson one-yard line, Payne re-entered the game presumably to add another big body for blocking purposes. That seemed to be what Clemson believed, and the Tigers bit hard when Hertz faked a handoff. Payne slipped open near the right pylon and hauled in a touchdown pass, sparking celebration and some relief among the Crimson Tide fans in the crowd. Clemson was thoroughly demoralized after its next offensive play. Quarterback Kelly Bryant's pass deflected off the hands of Dion Kane and was intercepted by linebacker Mac Wilson who returned it 18 yards for another touchdown. Just like that, Alabama had a 24-6 lead it would not relinquish. The Crimson Tide and the Tigers had met in the national championship game the past two seasons, with Alabama winning two years ago and Clemson taking the title last year. These guys have worked hard for a long time to get back in this position because of what happened to us last year when we got here. So now we've got to focus on trying to finish, Saban said in a post-game television interview. Alabama, which was a somewhat controversial choice for the playoff semifinals, will face quite a test from the offense of number three Georgia, which racked up 527 total yards of offense in a 54-48 victory against number two Oklahoma earlier Monday. Alabama will be playing for its 16th national championship. Georgia last won a national title in the 1980 season. The teams play in opposite divisions in the SEC and did not play each other in the regular season. Georgia's campus in Athens is about 75 miles from Mercedes Stadium in Atlanta. Alabama's home in Tuscaloosa is also only about 200 miles away from the site of next week's game. The teams are close in other ways. Georgia coach Kirby Smart was a longtime defensive coordinator under Saban at Alabama. I'm proud of the job Kirby's done there, Saban said in an interview broadcast on ESPN after the game. They've got a great football team, so it will be a challenging game for us. We'll enjoy this for a little bit, but then we've got to get ready for that one pretty quick.